Greetings and thank you for tuning in to the filling station. This week we talked about my people need me. Do we need God to move? What are your needs? Tune in and be blessed. The message I have prepared is not the one for today. Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He shifted the message on me in the middle of praise and worship. Amen. So I'm going to rap first, though. Okay. Just letting y'all know. Okay. But he shifted the message for uh, I've been hearing for the last few weeks that my people need me. And I was like, God, I don't know what you're talking about. And he's also uh, been telling me about religious people. And that's the message I had prepared for today. But we're going to go in a totally different direction because... I understand the need now. Come on, sometimes it's in the middle of the of the day when God will drop something on you and then he'll take a couple weeks to tell you what he really meant. Oh God, oh I thank you this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you. We praise you for your holiness. We praise you for your delivering power. We praise you for the blood that trickled down from Calvary. We thank you this morning, Father God, for allowing us to be in attendance for allowing us to be here to see the cross, to see the dripping blood. And we thank you this morning, Father God. We ask that you administer to the hearts and the minds. That you would allow me to do justice to these three scriptures that you just gave me. As I step out on the water, oh God, do justice for me. Because everything that I have is filthy. But you have the righteousness. And I ask that you would flow through me the way you just showed me. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay. I remember when the song first came out. Yeah. Yeah. I was in the number. So if y'all know this rap with me, okay. Just ride with me, just ride with me. Uh, here we go. M O S. I grew up listening to train, high lies of pop, flow non stop every second up on the block. Was big freestyling or rolling up a blunt, don't stun. Can't get right, we'll hit you with the pump. I spent my childhood addicted to pornography for the next 10 years, tried to do what I see. Stake on the scene, jade up in my chucks, hat is creased up, fat lazy, show me love, so wet with it. But I did all my side play. Spit was on fire, so I'm bound to change the game. Now 18 and being crowned as a beast. Now I'm done with Las Vegas. Time to move to AZ. Now I can be whoever I want to be. Deleted my past and created a new me. Stayed off them sweets, kept a swish on me. I got that nick down my ass, what you didn't hold me. Told so many lies that they start believing them. The time to just around and get the pounds and get the steam. No seeds. I'm going away from court. They come on, it's my heart. And I sold out faster than Wayne in New Orleans. My push was so sticky, called it Kool-Aid. Red, purple, orange, man, I got that Kool-Aid. Lost focus on my study, start clubbing with the fellas in the midst of storm. You couldn't tell the weather, so I flunked a semester because I had to get it in. We women, jeans, but not in that order, friends. Stumbled down the rabbit hole and realized I stumbled in. And almost got shot, they was trying to do me in. Listen to Emily, I identified with him. He flew the range with him, so I started listening. Then I graduated. Yeah, school was finished. Please wait a minute while I get my heart of the decision. So I popped a few pills, smoked a few L's, took a few shots, smoked a few L's, and popped some more pills. Got a degree in computer tech, but I didn't want to use it, still trying to do my music. So I continued to fall deep in my misery, still trying to see what I really did to me. So I made a decision to start selling crack, never considered these the shackles, had my dad trapped, didn't remember. The days after Christmas that my gifts disappeared and my pop was gone missing, didn't remember. My pops would get paid and be gone for like four or five days. Trapped in the days, fueled by rays, blocked out the dark days. Cause really I was trying to get paid. But guess what? God chimed in. He put me for my sins and said, I'm about to tag you in. So I asked him, why'd you consider me? Have you been asleep when you really see my history? He was like, yes, yeah, forgiveness, so it's been erased. What you talking about? You're the son that I really made. All the past days shows you who to pursue. This is why I consider you. Man, I believe my 
my pops for a long time. I really hate that dude, but I really love my dad today. I love the pops. Come on, sing it with me. My life, my life. Can I really show you my life? Can I really show you my life? My life. Can I really show you my life? My life. I'm about to really show you my life, my life. This is my life. Can I really show you my life, my life? Uh, this is my life. Here comes to take a picture, take a picture at my life. Uh, yeah, this is my life. Huh? I'm gonna show you my life. Uh, yeah, this is my life. Take a picture, take a picture at my life. Cause I'm a living testimony. I have been out there. I have done these things. And I can't live it because of God's all redeeming power. All we thank you this morning, God. All we thank you this morning, God, for me. I'm not gonna give no intro, I'm not gonna say nothing, I'm just, I'm just gonna let my lyrics talk. Uh, how many know this song? How many go rap with me? Come on. Yo. Yeah. Oh, how many know he will? Turn, turn me up. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Uh, I like it when I get it deep. Slow so ground and shovel. You keep digging, you keep digging. You in trouble. If you see a trap, why would you go jump in it? Consequences, it's called sinning. They think they think they win it, but they really lose it bad. What good is a Grammy if you sold your soul for that? Step for step, rap for rap, they chasing limelight. We just sitting back while crack is moving in the lights. Now he's a boss, he's a goal. His father's absent, he gets it too. No value was a steal as a child, that's why he out there in the gutter. Wow, he hear me now. If you marry to temptation, you gon' have twins. First come sin, but death is quickly following. I don't understand why men don't really run to him. We treat him like our genie, get our wish and then we own oh, oh. Come on, sing it. Uh. If you're stuck in the pain and you know you need change, I tell you he will. You see through all the lies, cause he opened up your eyes. That's just how I feel. Cause you know what they 
said, they said, if you throw us in the fire, he's able to deliver us. But even if he don't, come on, that's the part I like right there. Even if he don't, we know he's able. Come on, think about any situation in your life that you think is in, that, that, that you think is too big. Any situation that you think God can't touch, but he's able to do it if it's according to his will. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Come on, one more time. Yeah. For the ones who really won't change, I say he will. Do it for every man, woman, child in the building, I say he will. Do it for every human being on this planet now, I say he will. And even if he don't, no, he's able to pass his will. Uh, no, he's able. No, he no, he's able. He's able, no, he know he's able. No, he's able, no, he know he's able. Come on, sing that with me. Get in the spirit. Uh. No, he's able, no, he know he's able. Yeah, do it for the ones who really won't change. I tell you, he will. Do it for every man, woman, child in the building. I said he will. Do it for every man, woman, child in the building. On the planet, he will. How many believe that he will? How many have situations that God needs to move on now? Even situations that you don't know of. Or the ones that are deep down that we don't see sometimes. The ones that, the ones that we lock away because they hurt too much. The ones that we that we that, that we let poison us and, 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 and let bitterness instill in our hearts. Oh, we thank you this morning, Father God, because we know that you will. We know you know you're able. 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 Hallelujah. Let's get to our Ecclesiastics 1 and 9. thing is, is that all week I've been studying about religion. <laughs> and I get here and it's just like, nope, that's not it. That's it. Hallelujah. I'm going to start in Ecclesiastes 9 because how many believe that we're in perilous times? How many believe that we're in a time that's, uh, that's uh, destined from the, from the scripture? Come on. One and nine says, that which has been is what will be. That which is done is what will be done. And there is nothing new under the sun. Come on. I, I, was, I was reading that early this week and I was like, I don't know why I read that God, but I said, I know the, 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 that there's nothing new. Everything that's happened in these perils has happened before. Come on, but social media has magnified it to where we can see it at an instance. Because, you know, Rome had different things going on. You know, uh, 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 um, Nebuchadnezzar and, and Babylon, they had things going on, but they didn't have Twitter. They didn't have Instagram, so they weren't taking selfies in front of the statues. They weren't taking selfies in front of the, in front of the pits and the different things the Romans did. Come on, the Romans, they did some very particular cruel things. Like, they're the ones that came up with the crucifixions. Come on, what, what, they, they used to put people as slaves and make them fight to death for their entertainment. Come on, that's a cruel people. We live amongst cruel people like that today. Still in this day, that's why I had to go there. Let's go to Isaiah 53 and 5. Come on, this is, this, this is the one. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, this is the this is the scripture that's near and dear. Yeah, I read this like at least twice a week, easily. Because because it reminds me of what happened. It reminds me of 
uh, uh, of what 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 happened for us. Come on, let's go to um, well five. Let's jump up some to 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 uh, verse three. Come on, I get it from my pastor. Come on. Y'all know, we give you the, 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 the main scripture, then we have to build the case for you real quick. Come on. Number three, he is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows. And acquainted with grief. Come on. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Come on. We, we, we hid from him. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet... Yet, we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Come on, God, they, come on. We saw, this is Isaiah talking about Jesus. He says that we have marked him as stricken. We have marked him as grief. But, but, but he, he tried to let us know that we don't, we're not even going to recognize who he was. Come on, he's talking to the, to, the, to the Pharisees and Sadducees, the Israelites. This is what, this is what he's saying, that, that, that he's going to be afflicted. Come on, we're not even going to give him glory. We were looking for a king. And when he came, we didn't even recognize who he was. We just thought he was just this wonderful and glorious prophet. We thought he was a teacher. Come on, even the Sadducees and the Pharisees. See, I, that was in my study. They, they called him teacher at one point. Then they called him blasphemer in the next few days. Let's go, go to verse 5. But he was wounded. We can stop right there and we can just, but we're going to keep going. For our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Come on, iniquity means mind state. Come on, lawlessness. Something that we were born, come on, fashioned in. We were fashioned in murder. We were fashioned in manipulation. Come on. This is what Christ died for. We were fashioned to trick people. Come on. It was in a, come on, uh, 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 David said that I was shaping in iniquity. No, shaping means fashion. And iniquity is, 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 is a mind state. We were fashioned to be evil. The chastisement just for our peace. And upon him, his stripes, we are healed. Come on, we have to look at that. He took a strike for everything. Mm -hmm. He took a strike for fornication. He took a strike for me when I was sitting there smoking blunts. He took a strike for me when I couldn't even stand up because I was too drunk. He took a strike. He took a strike. Come on, bruise. Come on, we, 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 we get religious and we just say this and just go on past the, the, the good parts, but we can stop it. He was wounded. When we go to the, to the story of Calvary before the cross, when we get to the to the trail to Calvary, when they beat him, when they put him on that whipping post, and he didn't say anything, and how they beat him, come on, he had to be destroyed for us. He had to be destroyed for what we will do after today. Come on, we 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 still sin, even though we say we still sin, but you have to be able to get that under the under the blood that was shed. Come on, how could you imagine? Just imagine for a second. If somebody took a leather whip with bones and glass tied to the end and it hit you in the back and the glass and the bones and the metal stuck in your side. You done already got slapped. Being slapped by leather by itself is enough. But now it's sticking you. And they yank back and pull flesh with the metal. That's what he went through and didn't say anything. He said that if I don't take this beating, the world is doomed. If I don't fulfill what I have to do, the world is doomed. Because in 2015, in 1999, come on, he was thinking over the years, he was thinking, 1983, 1977, 1972, somebody was, was, was burdened by sin, somebody was burdened by the chains of darkness, somebody fell under addiction, somebody fell, and he was thinking there, if I don't do this, my people can't be free, not just the Jews, but the Gentiles alike. 
My people can't be free. John 10, he, he, and let's go to John 10 real quick. Oh God, help us today, Jesus. Help us today, Jesus. My Bible says Jesus the good shepherd. That's what y'all say? Now, now, let's go back up to, to verse 7. I want you to see this. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever come before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. And here's 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and destroy. Come on, there's another cliche scripture that we just throw in the air. Or the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But, but what is he stealing and coming to kill and what is he destroying? I have come that they may have life. So that lets me know right there before he set that up and says, I have come to think the thief comes to kill you, your personality, your traits, everything that is of you. Destroy your self-esteem, your morals, your character. But I come to give life. I come to set you free. I come that you may have life abundantly. Abundantly means vast. Oversufficient. Oversufficient. I have come that you may have life and more abundantly. That you may have life and oversufficient joy. Oversufficient deliverance. I will go past where I need to go just to free you. Hence why I took the beating. Hence why I let them mock me. Do you not think that when he was on the cross, he could have called a fleet of angels to pull him off the cross and show everybody who he was, but there wouldn't have been any justification in that. It would have just been marked that Jesus was the Christ and that he delivered himself from the cross and the story would have ended and we would have all still been damned. We would have all still been uh, trapped in, in, in fallen mind states. We would have all been still uh, uh, going back to what Adam and Eve did and hid from God because they ate from the knowledge of good and evil, the tree. We would have all been stuck in our ways. I would have still been out there. trying. Uh, uh, at that point, I hadn't soul cracked yet. I just hadn't made the decision to sell it. But then, the very next week, right in my living room, I was just like, God, what, what is going on with me? And I got saved in my living room. Come on. God changed my life in my own living room. I was rolling a blunt when he did it. Rolling. About to blaze. And I didn't understand what had overtaken me. So my sister was going to church, so I just went to church with her on Sunday. And then I realized when I got through the door what it was. I just thought I was having like an anxiety attack or something. But I understand. I, I start crying and I start repenting and I was like, what is going on? W why are you, uh, what, what is this? What, what is this? I'm trying to smoke and I'm tripping. I'm not even high yet. See, if I had been high, I would have been tripping. But he knew he had to get me right in the dawn of the morning. We're talking about like seven o'clock in the morning, like wake and bake. No, I'm serious. And I was just like, dropped the blunt on the floor, and I was just confused. I didn't know what was going on. But when I got to church on Sunday, I knew. And I haven't left since. It's been 11 years. And, 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 and everything didn't stop. He just delivered me a week. And that was just like my worst thing to do. That was what I did every day. So he had to take that love from me because he knew that if I had had a struggle with that in Christianity, I wouldn't have been saved because that would have won. Because I gave more power to that than I gave God. You see what I'm saying? Alcohol was no big deal for me. It, it, that was a social thing. But at the same time, though, it could be a big thing for other people. But, but, but everybody has different things that God died for. Everybody has different things that God wants to save us from. But what happens is we get saved. We say, I love you, God. We have an emotional experience. And then we're back in the club tomorrow. All right. All right. 
the only thing about that is that I'm not saying that you shouldn't have an emotional experience. I'm saying that God has the power to deliver. God has the power to change your life. He showed me that in my living room. God has the power to change your mind state. The problem is us. We don't want to change. We like it. Come on, see this fun. Let's keep it real. You're not going to hear that in a lot of churches. Where, oh, oh, we can't sit. No, sin is fun. That's why we do it. But at the same time, though, we were shaping in it. So it's the only thing that we know how to do. It's the only thing that we know how to do. Look at the example. And I always use this example, but it's so true. A baby. Go and take some candy. Don't get those cookies. Don't get that candy. Then you go, or she go, and get the cookies and the candy and eat it. And go on about their day. Then mom and daddy come into the kitchen and be like, now I know. I told him, think. I told him or her not to go in the kitchen and eat these cookies. Then you ask them, did you eat the cookies? No. Why is that? Did we teach that baby how to lie? Did we teach that baby how to steal? It was in our character when we were born. It was in our trait when we were born. Because of what happened in Genesis. What happened when, Ad when Eve ate of the apple and when Adam took on the curse for man? Come on. Let's, let's, let's go to Matthew. I'm trying to take my time, y'all. What's going on? Jesus. Help us, Bye-bye. Let's go to 26. Let's go to 26. I think I'm going to intertwine this and piece of this message because some of these scriptures are pertaining to what I'm saying now. Oh, Jesus. That's, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I don't know. 26 and... Just repeat the scripture one more time. Matthew 26. I'm going to show you another character flaw real quick. Some, something something that, 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 that... He didn't understand what he was doing, but he's born with this. 26 and 14. Then one of the 12 called Judas... 26 and 14. Then one of the 12 called Judas, Judas uh, Ascarit. How you say that? Ascarit. Went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him to you? <laughs> There's a bargain right there in the darkness. Here, here is somebody who, 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 is, who is a sellout. They're selling out my Savior. But, but, but it's something that he had to do, though. But at the same time, here is another character flaw. All right. yeah. a, 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 a part of the fallen mind state of man. Born with this thief. Born with this manipulator. Come on, this is a this is this is a, a, a negotiation for somebody's life. Yeah. This is this is how much it, it look what he says. What are you willing to give me? Mm. Come on, it's all about me. It's all about me. Look at, look at what, what, what Adam said to Eve. I mean, what Adam said to God. It was that woman. It's all about me. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's hers. Mm -hmm. It's all about me. Mm -hmm. It's all about uh, self-righteousness. It's all about building myself up. Oh, girl, look at them. Mm -mm. She, she knows she out of line because her hair sideways. Look like she just woke up and came to church this morning. But she ain't always say anyway. Probably was in the club all night. Come on, we do it though. We we do it though. We 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 we. It's easy to fall back into the fallen mind state. It's easy to fall back into a religious. Come on, the world is religious. Well, I thought you were saved. Saved people are holy. But they're looking at it from a from a from a from a fallen mind state. They're looking at it as in, okay, I see Bishop Jakes and I see you. Right. Bishop Jakes is saved. What 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 are you? 
When sometimes we do, we do make mistakes in front of people. We, we do. But at the same time, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a trait that's in our mind. It's part of our personality to be wicked. It's part of our personality to get over on people. It's part of why you think we have pimps. Why do you think we have different things? They get over on females and they keep them in bondage in their mind for years and decades. And then those pimps get saved and they become preachers. And they don't deal with the character trait. And then we have pimp preachers that pimp the congregations. And keep you in a, in, in, in a, in a fallen mind state in the church while they're trying to portray that they're preaching the gospel to you. We have to deal with the core of the root into the fallen mind state. Come on, I'm writing that book. I'm about like four chapters in. Amen. And we, we get it in. Amen. But 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 see, I told you I'm going to have to shift over. See, because when I was studying the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, and something came to me because I I, I, I mean something something uh, 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 different perspective. That's what I mean. The perspective came to me because I you know we see in the Bible Sadducees, Pharisees, Sadducees, Pharisees. But you got to study who these people were to understand why they opposed what Jesus was was preaching and why they really thought that they were it. One, because of the fallen mind state. Two, because they followed the law of Moses. So I looked this up. The Sadducees were the most wealthy, and they held a majority of the seats in the Sanhedrin, which is a council. The only they they did not believe in anything but the written word of God, the law of Moses, and the scriptures before. That's the only thing they, they didn't believe in resurrection. They didn't believe in life after death. They didn't believe in any of that. We believe that when you die, you are done. Period. And we only believe in the scripture. Right? But they, 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 they were more politicians. The Sadducees were politicians. They weren't religious. They, 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 they were kind of, but they were more politicians. Then you have the, the Pharisees, who were the, the middle class businessmen. Come on. The ones who actually believed that there was resurrection. Actually believed in heaven. Actually believed in hell. The ones that, 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 that actually uh, uh, had the popularity to the masses. You know, everybody knew the Sadducees, but nobody liked them. Okay. They liked the Pharisees. So when the Pharisees said something, so surely when they said, this Jesus is a blasphemer, you can understand why the crowd screamed, crucify him. Right. Because it was the Pharisees. The Sadducees had the majority vote. Just like the Republicans have the majority vote. The Sadducees had the majority vote, but the Pharisees had the people so that they had to listen to what the Pharisees said. They had to listen to them. Oh, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, for your word. They, they, they believed in resurrection. They were, more about, they were more about religion than politics. But both groups, this is it right here, both groups, and this is where the state of, 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 of some people's mind state are and why they can't get delivered. Both groups Relationship with God was based on the legalistic list and rituals. We get saved. And if, if we touch by the light of love, some people are touched by the light of God. And we begin to get into this ritual. Well, girl, I got to wake up and pray at 5.30 in the morning because God is going to move. And we have to do it every day. And I have to pray at noon. And I have to pray at, at 3 p.m. And I have to pray at 8. No, I'm serious. People do this. I did this. I'm waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm praying for an hour by myself. Then I got to pray with the youth council. Then I got to pray with the youth. Three hours of prayer. Then I'm going to work. When I get home, we got an evening prayer line. I'm going to pray on the evening prayer line. And then I'm going to study and write scripture. I wasn't even saved. Touched by the light of love. Because I would cuss you out if you said something to me. This is what I'm, we need help in our minds. We just, we get saved and we believe in this la-la land. And I don't know who came up with that la-la land. And then this is why, because we have this, this uh, legalistic listing of rules and rituals, is why we have different denominations. Well, uh, you can't wear makeup in my church because it's on my legalistic list. You, you can't wear earrings because you are just a and I'm not making fun of people. I'm just trying to show you. We have these traits. 
We have these things in us. We get saved and then everything is just, oh, 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 God, I got to pray here, I got to pray. What, whatever happened to just being spontaneous, like this message? Whatever happened to being spontaneous? God, I just want to praise you. You're in the mall. Oh, God, oh, shata, roshi, I see. I hear what you say to me, God. But, but we're so bound, and, and, we, and we look for this prestige, because come on, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they walked around in their big robes, yeah. chest up. I'm a Pharisee. You don't even have to say it, because the, you knew by the robe that there was a high priest and the elders. And they walked around with the post and stuff. And I'm not saying that it's bad to proclaim, but when you, they wanted the, the Bible says that they wanted the best seats in the house. They wanted the best cuts of meat. They wanted all of the recognition. Come on, Sadducees believed that, that man could operate without God. Pharisees is like God, 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 God is the end all, be all. What he says is it. But when Jesus came and bumped their tradition, come on, because they're the tradition, a legalistic rule of list. And that's it. Come on, we, we're looking at the division of the church too. When somebody came in and changed something, then I was like, well, I'm going to go be Baptist. And then somebody, well, I'm going to go be Kojic. Well, I'm going to be uh, 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 non denominational. Well, I'm going to be uh, Presbyterian. Well, I'm a Lutheran. Come on, because they wanted to add different things to their list. Men made. The, the, Lord, the Lord told me, He said that men have added what they wanted and manipulated the word of God to suit their needs. Don't that sound like what, 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 what the Sadducees? I thought the Sadducees believed in the word of God. The word of God was the commandments, the laws of Moses, the things that Moses journaled. If they believed in the word of God, then how did they not believe in resurrection after life? How, how did they not believe in what Isaiah said? That he would be bruised? Was, was nobody paying attention? Or, or, or they read it and then the, the, the originators read it and then the sons just watered it down. It's time for us to stand up and take a stand for our mind one. And our mind states. Because Jesus was bruised for our iniquities. Come on, he was chastised for our peace. Think about that. When you chastise somebody, use the children. You're not chastising them for peace. You're chastising them so that they can learn. So you take that belt off or you get that extension cord and you whoop them. Come on. He was, that's another way of saying that he was beat. Come on, he was, Jesus took a beating for our peace. And we don't let him have it. We don't let him give it to us. We rather just keep living the way we live. Keep being Pharisees and Sadducees, judging people. Well, they church ain't ready. They church of, mm mm, no. I went there and I could have sworn I seen a demon flying on the screen. What? what? <laughs> I'm just saying, this is things that we do. And, and we have to be able to understand what to combat. Because a little piece of religion is in all of us. Mm -hmm. Some more than others. We let Jesus take a beating for us every day because, it, because, because if you if you sin, then you beat him again. Come on. Every time you sin, then you whoop his flesh again. Come on, that's blood in the sand. Every time you sin, then you whoop his flesh again. When I, when I wrote that song, <clears throat> I saw a revelation of Calvary. He said, every time you go out and drink, every time that you go out and chase these chicks, these girls that you call them, and you take them down, you whoop my flesh again. You re crucify me. We re crucify Christ every day. How long will we continue to beat the Savior? How long will we continue to allow mind states to take away our abundant life? 
He said that I come that you may have life more abundantly. But he gave us a warning before he said it. That the thief come to steal, kill and destroy your life, your relationship, your fasting, your determination, your drive. Your talent that I gave you, he comes to steal your gift. And we just let him take it. Take it. Take it. That's what we say. Take it. We don't even bury it anymore. We just give it to the enemy. God said that I have come. I have taken your iniquity. I have taken your taken your, your your pride. I have taken your lying. I have taken your manipulation. I have taken that even that religious mind state that you in. I have taken everything for you, and you allow it to come back over and over again. We allow different things to 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 uh to to. Deviate us from the plan of God. We get going, we get going, we get going. Got some nice momentum, got some nice momentum, and then we hit a wall. We get going, we get going, we get going, we get some more momentum, and then we hit a wall. And then 10 years passes and you're still doing the same exact thing. It's time to be free. God came to, to snatch chains off of minds. God came to snatch chains off of soul. God came to snatch chains off of, 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 of a broken mindset, of a dark mindset. Come on, we were shaping in darkness. So it's easy for us to be cliche. It's easiest for us to be devout to sin. Because some of us are devout to sin. Instead of being devout to God. It's easy. It's easy to lie. Did you read today, girl? Yeah, I read like two scriptures. The Lord is going to move. I'm going to go back to it tomorrow, though, because, you know, I move back to come over. It's the truth. We have to have a dedication to who God is. We have to go to have a dedication. Let's go to Matthew 7. Come on. This is it right here. This is it right here. Matthew 7. And, and, and when I was reading this, come on, and this is the thing. Why are these both in the same chapter? <laughs> when I was reading, I was like, my God, I've read them before, but I never read them at the same time. As in, I've never read this whole chapter all the way through. I've only read bits and pieces of it. And, and But then I read the whole way. Come on. 13 is the narrow way, right? 21 is I never knew you. Ooh. Come on. When I read that, I was like, my God. Let's go to, let's go to 13 first so that you can see what, what the Bible says. And then we're going to jump down to 21 so you can see what, 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 what was said to the saints. This is not to the world. This is what's said to the saints. We always get caught up in I'm a royal priesthood. God knew me before I was in the womb. Woo, holy and acceptable. Come on. We, we take the scriptures and we don't pay attention to what really needs to be dissected from the scripture. We just go, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present yourself a living sacrifice. How many people know that scripture by heart? How many people know what it really means? Can call it to you in a second. But then you can just go, well, what does that mean, brother? They completely skip the sacrifice part. They get to the holy and acceptable because it's your reasonable service. But you got to pause at the sacrifice. Come on. I always bring that up because nobody pays attention to the sacrifice. Jesus sacrificed. So why don't, why shouldn't we? Jesus sacrificed a life for a life. You give me your life. That's what that scripture is saying. Give me your life. I gave you mine. Now it's your turn. I gave you my life on the cross. I beseech you, therefore, brother, present yourself a living sacrifice. I want your will. I want your thoughts. I want your children. I want your life. I want your heart. That's what that scripture is saying, but we get, to, we get past it. 
and be not transformed by the word. Do not conform. Do not transform to the word. But be. Don't transform for the world. We get we saved and then we get around our friends and we change up. You should be the same person. And we get in behind the pulpit and we change up. We, we get the stiff neck and this broad shoulders. We're here to represent the Lord today. No, I'm, I'm just saying, people do this. They change their voice and they change their posture. Enter by the narrow gate. For wide the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. This is to the church. And there are many who will go by it. So you mean to tell me that Jesus said this and he still died? Jesus said this and he still died. For many will go by it. Because narrow is the gate. And difficult. Can I find somebody that's ready to be difficult? Can I find somebody that's ready to go through, go through some things? Because it says difficult. I Means it's gonna be some trial. I Means it's gonna be some 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 lost strength. I Means it's gonna it's going to cost you something. I beseech you, therefore, brethren. This way leads to life. And there are few. Come on, few is in the Bible. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Because why is the path to destruction? For why is the path to destruction? Come on, that's the harvest. For why is the path of destruction? But narrow is the gate because there's few people that are going to go through because the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. I'm about to show you about this, this, this destruction. Jump down to 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Come on. That's the wide right there. That's the wide right there. That's the wine right there. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Whew. He's not talking to the world. He's talking to the church. These are the religious right here. These are the ones who come to church and throw their nose up. Girl, I'm a prophetess. Bring me your prayers. I'm a prophet. Bring me your prayers. I'm your pastor. Tell everything to me and I'll go tell it to God. There's people that do this. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Cast out demons in your name. Come on. So, the, so it would appear that they're moving in power. It, it, would it would appear that they're moving in power if they cast out demons. But it says, see, 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 they should have put a comma right there. Because when I read it, I was like, oh, there is where it is. I done read the scripture so many times I saw it. Many have cast out demons in your name. It wasn't them, it was the name. Yeah. And they took it upon themselves. Girl, I'm a demon slaying, prophesying. Come on. They, they, they think that they're moving in power, but all they said was the name that works. If you say Jesus. Come on, when we was looking at Mark chapter 5, the demons ran and kneeled to Jesus and said, Why are you here? So that lets me know they know his authority. So it didn't matter what they were saying. It mattered that they just said Jesus so the demon had to flee. And many have done wonders in your name. See, now they're trying to throw a guilt trip on it. They're trying to, well, Jesus, I called your name. Jesus, I, I cast out the demons in your name. But, 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 but check this. And when they declared to him, and, he, and then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. Because you spent your whole entire life being a bigot. Because you spent your whole entire life not trying to change people. You spent your whole entire life trying to get money. You spent your whole entire life trying to be prestigious. For what? 
Depart from me, because I knew you not. Wide is the path of destruction, but narrow, which leads to life. We have to be able to go through, we have to be able to, to, to let God be God in our lives. Our problem is, is that we get an emotional touch. And then we forget what was said to us. All right. We forget what, what, what happened to us. We, we, we forget what, the promises that God, come on, if you just held on to the promise alone on what God said that, I will make you what I have said. I will do for you what I said that I will do. But we allow the promise to become bleak. We, we, we allow the vision to become unplain. Come on, the Bible says write the vision down and make it plain. If you write it, when you get down, come on, that's why it's important when you come to Bible study or when you're trying to study something, write it down and go back because sometimes you got to go back. Sometimes you got to go back to the prophecies that somebody said to you, the real ones. Sometimes you got to go back to the things that you know that God said to you. So sometimes you don't have to get emotional when somebody's prophesying to you. Just listen to what they're saying because you have to be able to replay that. Until that you can write it down again. So that when you get in a certain situation, God, everything around me looks bleak, Lord God. I need you in every situation in my life. Then you can go back to, but I have called you to change the nations. I have called you to prophesy to men and women. I have called you to walk and deliver. I have called you. That's why it's important to study the word. That's why it's important to jot down these things. That's why it's important to pray. Because when you pray, you have open access to God. And he has open access to you, even when you're not praying. Come on. You open the door. God, I love you. Two, three hours go by. I love you back. I need you to just lay before me when you get home today. Come on. It's a relationship. Just because he don't say something right then, don't mean he's not going to respond. Even if it's two or three months down the line, he will bring. Remember when you prayed for done it for you. Everything that you do, I've done it for you. I've done it. For, I, I, I wrote your ending first. So of course I want to see you get to the end of it. The problem is I just need you to move. Lay your life down. Become a living sacrifice. If you become a living sacrifice, I'm able to do the things that I said that I was going to do to you. But if you continue to rebel against me, and if you continue to be someone else that I haven't called you to be, I can't bestow the blessings on your life. I can't give you your business. I can't give you your dreams. I can't give you the things that you want to do because you love sin too much. For like three, four years after being a leader for years. But the thing about it is, is that I say this. I was a child put in a leadership position with no knowledge and understanding. So when I learned how to walk, it was after I left. No one taught me. God did. God has to teach you things. But the only way that he can teach you is live life, pray, and read the word. Because you learn things from life. You learn things from people. You learn not to be religious when you're not around religious people. Amen. We're not a religious church. Amen. We don't want religious saints. Amen. We want people that love God. And when they see people, if somebody walked in off the streets, with a dress on and cut here. Could we minister to her when we say, ooh, she out of line for coming in the house of God? Mm. Could we minister to her? Could we just look past her dress and see her heart? Could we minister to her? Could we say, the glory of the Lord is before you. Repent of your sins and become the kingdom. Could we say that? Or would we say, mm, I know what she did last night. Mm -hmm. This is what we, we, we have to get prepared. I know the numbers are small. That's a good thing. Amen. You need practice. 
Babies start off small, they don't start off big. They start off this big, a little smaller than that, like that. A little smaller than that, like that. And then they get, and as they grow, they learn things. We should always be learning on each level. Look at the levels of a baby. Wah, wah, change my pamphlet. Right? Then, I'm sitting up. I can. I want to sit up because I need to sit up. I'm tired of laying down. Oh, now put me on the ground. I can stand up with assistance. Come on, these are the different levels. That's how we should be growing with the kingdom. Oh, 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 I want that ball across the room. Oh, let me step, let me step. Oh, oh, what's the, oh, I fell down, but I'm about to get back up. Come on, it's the same, it's the same thing. Come on, as, as, as you got to think about it. When you get saved, that's the germination period. Oh, God. And then you begin to grow and blossom in the spirit. And then you sit up and say, God, I don't want the milk no more. I need the meat of the word. And then you just put me down and let me walk because I need to practice on this thing. Come on. You got to see it for what it is. And then, and then you say, oh, 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 she's not saved. Let me go over here and witness to her. Now you're walking. Oh, do you know who God is? I want to tell you about the Lord. I want to tell you about how he is. And then, 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 then the prophets, then you start to, then you start to mature. You start to mature, and then you start getting confident, and then you understand who you are. Just like if, if a baby grows up and becomes an NFL star, or a baby goes up and becomes whatever they are, they know what they are when they get into position, and they know how to operate in the things that they need to operate in. Just like in the body, the problem is we stay as babies, and we want everybody to carry us around. We want everybody to pray for us. We want everybody to do this. Thing. Pray for yourself. I know I said it a few weeks ago. Sorry, I got to go back to it. This is the thing. When you sit up and you acknowledge that you don't need the milk, it's your responsibility to get the food. All right, come on, say that again. It's your responsibility. When kids get a certain age, they cook for themselves when they're at home. They wait for mom and dad to come home and cook dinner. If not, they cooking dinner. You have to understand that at some point you have to begin to feed yourself. It's not, it's not, it's no problem because look, when mom and dad come home and mom and dad give you the give you give you the word, give you the food, come on, pastors and leaders, they come in, come on, just like at the dinner table. That's what it is right now. We sit at the dinner table and, and you allow you allow mommy and daddy to cook the meal. But when mommy and daddy are at work and you're on summer, summer vacation, you need to go in the kitchen and make you a pack of noodles. Open up the microwave and get you a burrito. Amen. Or one of them TV That's dinners. A corn dog. Something. You know what I'm saying? They got all those things. This is this is the, the you can relate to the growing of scripture, I mean growing in the in the spirit to growing up as a child. You just have to be able to look at the various different things that you learn as a child and relate them to your walk. And that doesn't have anything to do with religion. It's about relationship. It's about relationship. It's about relationship. Tell me this. How is it that a kid can grow up without parents? How is it that a kid can grow up without parents? Right? Watch this. And still become successful. How is it? Where parents are supposed to, mother is supposed to nurture, father is supposed to install origin. How is it that they can they can they can find that for themselves because of a drive, because of a different thing that comes from the inside? I was born unfortunate, but I will not be unfortunate. Hey, man. We have to get like that. We have to get get into the mentality of uh, uh, my mom and daddy. Yes, uh, I grew up and I might have been religious, but I need to change things. I will not die religious because yeah. why is the path? And I need to be a narrow walker. I need to be able to walk on the narrow side. I need to get everything that God has called me to be. And, it, and it's not just about being successful. If I don't, we got to get to the point to where Jesus was. If I don't complete my ministry, I can change the aspect of the world. Because if I don't operate in my gift, if I don't operate in the blood, the nation, the nations, the people, the places will be affected. Because I'm not in position to operate 
That's why it says the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And the laborers have to work in other vineyards because somebody did not step into position. Somebody didn't step out of immaturity into maturity. Somebody didn't step up and work what God called them to be because they allowed some, they allowed their life, they allowed sin, they allowed fear, they allowed different things to, to dictate how they're going to live. They allow different things to dictate. So then the harvest becomes plentiful. And sometimes those that were supposed to be laborers become the harvest. They switch positions and now we got to work on you. I just want you to get into your mind state. That you were shaping. That you have this manipulator in you or whatever things, the traits that you have. You have these things in you. But God died. Come on, the Bible says, behold, all things have become new. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, all things have become new. Behold, all things have become new. Behold, all things have become new. Come on, we skip. Behold, all things have become new. Behold, all things have become new. I'm going to give you a new strength. I'm going to give you a new, come on, behold, all things have become new. Behold, all things have become new. Behold, all things have become new. All things. All things have become new. Come on, you got to say, repeat that in your head. All things have become new. You have to, when you get to a certain point, behold, all things have, I can't go through the same thing that I went through last week because, behold, all things have become new. I left that, I left that there. I left that there because I know that that's going to change who I am and that's not the road I want to go down because that road is wide. But I'm over here looking at this old narrow over here and I know that I'm going to have to give up some things. Come on, I gave up some friends. Come on, I gave up some some some, some associations. I had a bunch of different people that was around me that, 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 that wanted to be around me. They just loved to be around me and I loved to be around them. But it's different things that they did that I knew if I hung around them, I would be pulled away. So I had to change some associations. Now I have like one, maybe two friends. I know I got one. It's, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's lonely, but you have to be able to walk it. You have to be able to talk it. Come on, you have to be able to operate it so we don't hear, depart from me. You work her over nigga. Come on, let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. How many know that he will? How many know that he will? How many know that he will? How many need him to move on their lives today? How many need him to operate in certain things? How many need him to deliver your heart? How many need him to deliver your ways? When God said, my people need me, he was talking to not just this congregation, but, but there's other people that need him in certain areas that they don't even know that they need him. God, I need you to move for my children. God, I need you to move for my husband. God, I need you to move for my mother. God, I need you to move for my father. God, I need you to move for my brothers and my sisters. God, I need you to move for my co-workers. God, but I need you to move on my heart because it's black. I need you to open up the chambers of my heart and reside there. I need you to change who I am because who I am is not in your plan. Who I am is filthy. Who I am is desperate. Who I am, who I am. How many have gotten to that point? Oh God, everything around me looks bleak. Work is dark, oh God, or I don't have a job. I, I can't pay my bills, God. I, I, I can't pay my car note, oh God. I just need you. I need you to move on my family because everybody's crazy. Oh, I can't even see my dream no more, God. It's too out of reach. I failed you. I rode a robosa. I failed you and I don't see a way back. Religion has taught me that I failed you, God. Religion has taught me how to, how to, how to see that I failed, but religion hasn't taught me how to crawl back. I rode a 
Religion told me to hide. Oh, Religion told me that I can't be in your presence, Lord. Oh, religion has taught me, God, that once I fall, I can't get back. But here I am, God. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. I just want you to hear my praise. I just want you to hear my worship. One last time. I forgot what you feel like. Every time, every time you touch me, God, I run back away from it. I have forgot your touch. I just need you to move on my heart. Let's stand, let's stand. Let's, let's lift our hands. Come on. Come on. And get real with yourself real quick. Oh, shut up your both side. And get real with yourself real quick. Don't worry about who's in the room. You don't even have to tell us. But just open up your heart to God and give him your cry. Just, just a few of what I heard in the spirit. I heard, oh, shut up your both side. Oh, God, I can't make it back. Oh, shut up. We bind that in the name of Jesus. Oh, shut up your both side. You can't make it back. You can't be free. In the name of Jesus. Your family can't be killed. Your family is near and dear to your heart. Give that part of your heart to God. The point where you have to get up and stand up for the things that you've done and take accountability and allow God to cleanse who allow God to cleanse the person that you created not the one he created you created it father in the name of Jesus Oh, we worship you, God. Father, I ask that you would touch every aspect of their heart. Every aspect of their mind, oh God, and cleanse. And cleanse, oh God. If they won't ask you, I'll ask you for them. Father, every area, Father God, that we learn to hide from you from, blow the door open, God. Blow the door open, God. And come in and reside on the interchambers of our hearts, oh God. Snatch the chains of darkness from our lives. But you gotta want him to. I can pray all day, but you gotta want him to. How many need God to change? Not tomorrow, but right now. How many need God to change their lives? Change my mentality, God. We encourage you to continue to tune in regularly. And if you are in the Las Vegas Valley, join us at the YMCA located at 4141 Meadows Lane, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89107. Meet us there every Sunday morning at 1030 a.m. As well, like us on Facebook and tune in to our podcast on Our Heart Radio. If you are in need of special prayer, please email us at thefillingstationlv at gmail.com. We will be glad to labor with you until God offers a resolve. You can also sow a seed into this ministry by giving online through PayPal. Sow all seeds to the filling station LV at gmail.com. Expect a harvest. Be blessed.